y'all standing here means that you believe in marriage. It means you're willing to invest your time in marriage and developing your marriage. And that's something that's huge. So I am a Christian, I'm a believer in God, and I believe we can't start anything without first his word. The men are gonna read a prayer to their wives. My wife is my home because she is my peace and my peace. God took a piece of me when I was born and put it inside my wife so that when I met her later in life, I would have peace. I will love her the same way God loved the church. Amen. Can everybody give yourselves a round of applause? So I actually appreciated their vulnerability in sharing that story because then it helped me to relate. They're coming from a very similar reference point that we are. The things that he learned can apply to us. Before I ask you guys to look at your foundation of your marriage, I have to be vulnerable myself and show you my foundation of my own marriage. So my wife and I will be celebrating 18 years together and 14 years married. We, we met young and it, it just happened so quickly, but I knew from an early age I wanted to be a husband and I wanted a wife. And our parents, they were like, hey, if you don't want to follow our rules, then you're on your own. So we didn't have mom and dad to be there. We only had each other. And that was the best thing that could have happened to us. We were trapeze artists. There was no net behind us when we fell. It was either this or nothing, all or nothing. We had all the chips in. And that's what marriage is supposed to be about. And I take that commitment serious. And God will put you through situations to build that character. And that character is what makes you strong in life and in marriage and business and anything else you do. Your intentions sometimes don't come across the right way. So usually when you're saying at least, you think you're being empathetic, but empathetic is actually feeling. It's being in the space with the person. So whenever someone feels bad, especially our partner, our spouse, what do we wanna do? Oh, we gotta go fix it. But guess what? Feeling is fixing. If I can just be there with you, that starts the fixing process. So be there with your partner. The prison starts when men are boys. It starts when we're boys. It starts with that old school mentality that if we show any type of emotion, we're weak. And then we get married and have children and a spouse, we still don't know how to show emotion. A lot of what I do with men in counseling in the couples component is to help men understand where did they initially get put into that man box. Masculinity is something that we don't want to put a label on as a bad thing. The goal is to know how to use it where it doesn't shine so bright that it blinds, but it can be just bright enough to warm up what it needs to. I believe every couple should attend this retreat, whether your relationship is good, bad, been 20 something years, just starting out. We are only two years into our marriage. We hear from our counsel what she says, and then we can take this and put it what that he's saying and really use that in our toolbox to make our marriage better. So I feel like constantly nurturing something just like you do a child, it's, it's gonna turn out better. As a husband, I can't make my wife smile too much. I can't make her happy too much. Chris is super personable. He's very relatable. He's, uh, he engages the crowd, makes you feel non-threatened and welcomed. And that's what I liked about him. He just seems like a real humble guy that wants to help people. That's when I'm in the closing phase of counseling with couples. When they can tell me, Chris, we're no longer on eggshells. We had an argument, but we knew that wasn't gonna lead to threats of divorce. I'm upset, but we didn't have any name calling. That's how you know counseling's working. If you start working out and eating better, is your system or your body gonna change? If you stop working out and eating better, is it gonna change back again? The same with self-help material, counseling, coaching. If you stop doing it, gonna go back. It has to be a lifestyle the same way being a Christian is. 